What's going on everybody, it's your boy SB is the truck star and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial to the way I do artwork, you know what I mean? Um thing is the cover for this you know kinda of tricky. I have a idea in a mid. Um I'm gonna pull it off, I'm hundred percent sure, but really me I'm sloppy toppy. I feel I'm of copper. Mug picture can incorporate, you understand? So, we see how that go. We definitely see how that go. Um, uh, interesting, no? We see. <laughs> There's a way start Photoshop. Alright, so. As far as a background want something kind of bright, I think orange or some sort of fusion like a yellow, you know, or something like that. So let's bring this up. Let's press OK. Let's make this white first. All right. So some, you know, along them lines, yeah, um, in terms of color or whatever. So that's the same kind of yellow there, you know what I mean? Or just something bright still. So the clear all of the effects. And then we'll just make this yellow. On the outside, what we we'll do is, before we start at the model, kind of design the background a little bit. So on the outside, we we'll add a vignette. Vignette, um, I think we just say vignette because of its spell. So we kind of dark up the edge them. Something like that. But that's a little bit too, too, too dark. So what I'm going to do is pull lamp on control and alt and kind of stretch them out. Just to add like a little shadow around the corner of them. You know what I mean? So. Something like that. Um, that's cool. I'm gonna start add like some liquor particles for kind of rough up the the background. You know what I mean? Kind of distress it, make it seem like it no, like it have a texture type of thing. Um, so I switch this blending mode to screen, and then I can kind of see how it. You know what I mean? Without that change up the background, I look away. So that's cool. Um, over the top of that, we'll add another one, something different, same way. This one, I will drop the opacity 40%. Then we'll change the blending mode to screen, same way. Um, and what that do, as you can see, it just add a little bit more particles, just some different style of particles in the, um, in the thing, same way. So, what we can also do, is scroll up let's make this vignette a little bit darker again cool so this um yellow one mode is we make that 50 percent so you kind of look a bit transparent don't duplicate it the layer we're underneath we don't make that 100 percent and what we don't change the color too is like a a nice, like a vibrant, really, really bright orange, you know what I mean? So, let's go right click, blending options, color overlay, and we'll try to get a, a nice orange underneath. So, let's change this to web color, go down and set towards orange. Um, yeah, something like that, so something vibrant, something bright. Um, we can actually change this back off a web color right now. Okay. Okay. So if we turn it off, we have that. If we turn off the yellow, you know, we just have like a straight orange, which that's not a bad um, background, but I like the, the little yellow in it. So I can actually drop this to 30%. Cool. Uh, so I'll go back to the model. I actually have a full name cut out. I have a, a female, I'm not sure if it's in another folder, but I know I have it. 
just have to um, find it. Um, this is some, uh, so this is something we can use. Um, if we make this smaller, so let's make make her smaller, right? Let's put this up on the top, so we don't have all of them little um particles over our body. Um, we have a picture of me. Why are you? If we flip this, if we go so, I can make this bigger. Right. Put this in the front. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do is we'll get rid of the, the buckle out our hand, right? So. Pen tool, easiest way for do that. Next selection, um, let's insert a new layer, then add a mask, select that, drag the mask up. Just like that. What we're gonna do is we'll invert it. So control shift I. So now, if we get the brush tool and paint black, let me make this bigger. Um, switch this back to a hard brush. Turn off cap lock. Make this bigger. So if my um. Focus on something. Sure, what the fuck just happened at all? That shit weird. Let's see if this. Just to see if it fit fucking saving. Sick. Yeah, but I know what the fuck just happened. I think them just disappear like that. So, let me say for control shift, I will invert that to get the brush tool. Drop the size. Turn off cap lock and if we paint white, she's supposed to start come back. Bring this up to 100. Yep, so sure. Eh? Let's make the brush a little bit bigger. Kind of bring it back a lot faster. Cool. So if we do about the invert again and um, change the color from white to black, if we paint the buckle, it go. And we'll do the same thing. With the other um with the other side, so you need to get the pen tool first. A hey, bomb buckle like that. Post so Alright. Oh, I feel like I should be a player with them all on there. Bring your bomb buckle. We have a little bit of some close pixel. So, one here, so, one here, so, drag that out. One right there, so, good. That's supposed to cover all of that. So, if we 
highlight around the buckle. Then make selection and got the brush. Get rid of all of that. You know what I mean? So. So. The thing is now for kind of manipulate the shit fit. Fit a certain. A certain thing is that 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 a crazy thing for fucking. Hmm. Hmm. Can make she smaller, yeah, but because we don't have the rest of our body, definitely have to keep her off of the, you know what I mean, off of the cover away. And, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. Not sure at all. Maybe I'm just not even use me. Just make she bigger. And then just kind of incorporate some other model. Uh, you know, we figure it out. Right. That's just one of the ideas. I normally don't use this. It's gonna have in the another background. Towards one of the side, in between them two layers. And if I don't um fade it. So it like not really that noticeable, you know what I mean? Like it more blending with the background, like something like you have to kinda really pre for for kinda pick up say, yeah, at that. It's like a female is a mouth, you know what I mean? So, with a, um, all right, cool. So, yeah, definitely like all that. Come on, um, hmm. let me say, just for incorporate certain things, you know. I'm kind of get it. A certain way that that is the big thing outside of that. Everything good. kind of close though you know what I mean you know, this is where I really like um, the you like the um, the hole so I got top shadow or create a clipping mask with this yeah and this is really where like your own personal taste really come into play um, because this one my daughter is absolutely not necessary like I'm gonna have to do it but because I want it look as, you know what I mean, as it's supposed to, I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shadow to the, the chick underneath, on the top, on the top of her body, because because I have she in front, it's only natural that she a project a shadow or a add a shadow over her body. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is take your opacity on the pen, drop that to 20% or get a um, soft brush. Soft meaning when the brush, the um, the outside of the brush now nah, go as that's a soft brush. This is a hard brush. You can see the difference, you know. What I mean, it's wholly more transparent, you know. What I mean, as why one name as the other one. And what I'm gonna do is anyway, her body cover she right at the edge. I'm gonna add um, a shadow, let me say, switch this to soft and she will have the clipping mask. It um, only can brush over our body. So anyway, 
one or body, it's not gonna show. Even though I'm brush over the yellow over here, so it's not gonna show it because I have the, the clipping mask. And what basically what the clipping mask do is to keep the shadow inside of the, the picture below. You know what I mean? So if me turn off the clipping mask, we can brush anyway now. But if me turn it back on, even though I brush this so it disappears because it it not have nothing did it in terms of this uh, female or so. We don't do that and we don't, let me see, we don't add a shadow. Anyway, we are uncover our body. And we don't just start, let me see, the opacity, they are 20. So what that allow me to do is it allow me to get darker as me keep on the, the brush of our body. So if me make one spot too dark, you know, me can always just press undo and, and go back. So the only really dark spot them really need to be right which part are under, you know what I mean? The farther away we go from our hand, the shadow supposed to get lighter and lighter as I can see. So if you look on, we'll oh, just turn the shadow on and off so you can see the difference. You understand what I'm saying? And it just add like a, a nice little bit of dimension to the thing. It make it you no know, as one dimensional and lose normally. It just look like everything steel, you know, add um some depth to um to where we have gone and we'll do the same thing down here so alright so that are this so same thing for your legs can not the um shall I see me right over our clothes anywhere our body get um any type of cover up you know what I mean so if we turn it on and off you know what I mean? I can see the major difference or just adding the, the shadows that I make. Um, so, don't get so what I'm going to do is more kind of go over it again. Kind of did go look a bit overboard. All right, cool. And then if I get rid of it, I can just add a, a mask and, you know, clean it up as I see fit. So if we turn this on and off, cool. Then there is also a thing we can is add um, highlights. So, H -O -G -H -L -O -G -H -T -S. And what we do, do, or what I mean by that is like, let's say her face right here, so, and then you have like her elbow up at the top, yes, right? So, if we put the opacity on this to 100%, keep the soft brush, we don't switch um, the color from black to white. And then change the mode to multiply. Now, when we go paint, it add like this nice, you know what I mean, highlight on the outside or anywhere which part of paint. So typically we don't put that anywhere when I have no shadow. So like right, that's so that nice. And the thing with this is try finna really go overboard with it because you can easily just put a white mark you really are trying to do the edge them and um they try to capture the the light like the light are bung so far so you really are trying to do the edge and i really try actually paint white upon her you just try to add some highlights to certain part of her body so like right her shoulder yeah so cool and then without the highlights you know what I mean, you can see the difference, same way. And we'll do kind of the same thing for the other chick. So she not have nothing over her, so she not really need a shadow, you know what I mean? Or mostly, um, just um, do the highlights. So what I'm gonna do is just copy the one I'm gonna use already. And then you can see what it actually look like. So without the clipping mask, you can see what it actually look like. So if you create the clipping mask, it gone. So what we do now is um, we don't get rid of everything we we'll, we'll put upon it. And then we'll do the same thing for she. So right at the edge of our hand here, so kind of cover up the little black line there from the buckle. We don't just put the, the highlight there, so we'll put one right at our shoulder here, so. And then I do this with the mouse, so I really have to be careful, and I mean, can't really have no slippage or not like that. If I come down, we also can add one. I can probably add one right there. Zoom in. Yeah, 
Mm, right, so the whole way about most side can add something to her here. And then one more right at the end. Cool. Just a little bit, uh, you know what I mean? Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm compile everything. So, I separate everything. So, I'll go Control G. This is the background. Boom. So, if I mute that, get rid of all of that. Then we can put them in a one folder, same way. This are the models. Boom. What I'm going to do is compile everything. Control Alt Shift E. And we do add um, a plugin on this kind of bring out the details all right so if we click on it you'll see the difference so I'll switch this to cloud You so can see how like the, the image in the background kind of get brought out. That's cool. I'll click OK. We'll drop the opacity point this to 70%. Because we don't want it fully, you know what I mean? We just want it bring out a little bit of the detail. That's cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some, um, some water splash, probably one at the top, one at the side, and some shit like that. Um, kind of go in line with what we have going. So let's go water. But, uh, yep, right, uh, so, so uh, some things like this, not that specific, but let's find some more uh, fit where we have going. Uh, so, they may not work. If we go out. Photoshop folder. I should have a folder called PNG. We we'll have some water splashing in it. that them transparent them kind of allow a little bit of bleed that's the only thing I'm going to lie about them you know what I mean the good thing about them on the other hand is that we can um, use them for like kind of do some weird like crazy effects and shit like that um, but I'm supposed to have some brush um, so let me select the brush I'm supposed to have some water splash some brush just need to find them. Water splash, right? So, so we can manually create more water splash then. You know what I mean? So, shit like that. So, let's see what the other one them look like. Uh, that's cool. So, if we rotate this, we could come in from like the left, like over here. So, that's cool. Can always, um, Change the color in half a white. It can be any color I want it, so I can have red. You know what I mean? What I'm going to use is green. Look a bit darker, probably. Look a bit lighter. I just feel like green is a nice complementary color. Yeah. 
Alright, let's go Google and fuck it. Um, what? Uh, SPLIH, PNG. Images. Um, Alright, this one will work. Save, drag, drop. Let's quantize, let's drop the salt. A model is to only use like the edges, you know what I mean? Like the tips of it. And the gradient overlay. And we'll add a nice like blue tone to it. So like some actual water type of thing. Hmm. Red doesn't look too bad. And again, that not look too bad. So I duplicate it. I'm gonna move it to another spot. But this, I you know, like said, we just want to use the edge. You know. So I use a little bit tight up at the top, not a lot. Then I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. That cool. The last one, at all, let's put that behind. No, nah, so I should keep that right there. We'll drop the opacity. Actually, let's just delete it all together and just move it right across the top. Cool. So now we have the water splash. G. All right, so on to the next element. So let's minimize this. Let's go back out there also. I'll load up another rhythm. All right, click. What last cover on me though? Hmm. Can't remember. <laughs> oh god. Let's put um, I ate on a dream curvy diva. What the last really want me to cover for? Um, Arkin Dead should be cool. So when I do that first, but I want the <coughs> the text layer and the logo layer. So we'll drag both of them across to the other document. And with our control and T. I'll put my logo right behind her butt. And then the text layer, what I'm gonna do is with our control T and we'll line that up with the document like that. We'll bring it down. Without changing the text, of course. I reckon probably just change the color, but without changing this text, I don't know. But up at the top, yeah, so. Alright, so let's change this text to another writing. Change the color. So I'll keep it white, change the size to 12, and then change the spacing to 400. 
and I want more to kind of make it more defined or add a drop shadow behind it. So now you can really see what I say and not really worry if it's straight or not like that. And let's change the angle to 40, change the distance to 13, and change the size. Bring down the opacity, bring back down the size. Opacity will put at 25. All right, so that's all that. So as far as the text itself go now, you can delete the dead and the rhythm, and we can get rid of the layer mask after the walking. We'll put the text here, so we'll change the orientation, so we'll make it slanted. We'll change this to sloppy. We'll change this from screed to something else. I don't know, the Angry Birds probably can work. Um, let me see some bubble texture. So we get like something like this, we'll probably have a bevel and um, emboss and all of that extra shit. So change the size of this to 150. Boom. I'm going to the effects. Delete layer mass. Make a bevel and emboss. Um, what that do is it um let's turn off the gradient. Actually keep the gradient, we'll change this to something like that. Um, so the bevel and emboss though, it gives off like this 3D looking, you know what I mean? Like you can see, like you have this 3D look to the text. Highlight mode will change that to normal. Let's see. Alright, so I want the highlights of course. Um, soften this up a little bit. Direction down, now up. Bring back the dip. Let's go out a bevel. I don't really like it, so I'm not really too stress it. Take up the stroke down to one, turn off the opacity. Drop shadow. I change the drop shadow color though to more of a pink, purplish type of thing. Bring it out a little bit. Put an inner shadow on it. I'll turn up the opacity for right now. I'll bring out the distance. I'll make the size a little bit bigger and we can turn down the opacity and then bring back the distance again. I'll turn down the opacity some more. The stroke or bring up the size. And then put the drop shadow will make this more of a solid drop shadow instead of like a um so that the inner shadow has other inner glue. Opacity 100% or changes from that to 
pretty much kind of like the same color I have outside, but we're not going to make it as big as it is now. Or we can always try white or, you know, anything that kind of complement or oh, go on. So I turn off that, turn off the shadow. I like the shadow though. Let's put this at 15%. Alright, cool. Oh, the second drop shadow now. This I want to do black. And it do underneath. So instead of 16 for the distance, we'll go 22. And then this a size, I would go 20. Just make it more of like a blurry. Um, I mean type of thing. Actually can increase the distance some more. Um, same thing with the first one. Let's bring up the distance. And then let's increase the size. Cool. One thing I don't like probably are the color of the text. One thing I'm gonna saw. Mm, no, hundred point. I'll go through and see if we can find something. I said, I like this, but I'm going to have to change the outside um, thing yeah, to something else. Uh, that's cool. That's actually cool. So increase the size for that. If I turn off the stroke, it look like that. And that's actually cool. Yep, kind of like that. So let's press OK for that. Duplicate it down. Change this from sloppy to toppy. So something like that. One more do do do. Slappy over the top, so let's put that like that. I'll copy this again. I'll change this to reading. Put that underneath like that. Now what I'm gonna do? Forget the the I and the M behind the girl. I'll just click on our image, add a layer mask to the rhythm text layer, get a solid brush, and just brush the eye and the M away like that. So now you can see the other issue there, so just control shift I and get rid of that. You select that as far as the logo them go we're far from done let's close up the text folder get the logo folder control and t we'll bring this all the way to the left here so small them up a little bit this water layer or the layer mask to it and we'll get rid of it anywhere close to the logo them no so now I interfere with the logo of them. Control T. Uh, that's cool. Bring up them a little bit. Can I get them away from the lines? Get them off of the edges. So them have like a little gap between them and the and the edge of the document. And then what we do do also is we'll turn off all of the, the effects. So now them block. Let's see what them look like like that. Uh, like it more white let's drop take off the drop shadow bring on about that take off the drop shadow and we keep them just like that right so only thing else we can add is parental advisory sticker and we can just drop that um anyway and that's small Just like that. 
even though it's just a rhythm, just because it have the two chicks on the cover. Let's bring that down. You know what I mean? So, I have the logo, the water splash, da 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 da. So, what I'm gonna do now, add that to the logo, take them to full, I will mute them, get rid of all of the text and all of that. We'll create another composite layer, Control Shift Alt E. Um, we'll add some enhancements to it. So, we got detail again. Oh, now we use the same preset. We will change the preset. As you can see, this actually add a level of color. Okay. We don't go opacity. We don't add until it get to some of me like. I don't really want it to, you know what I mean, overpower in or not like that. So that's kind of cool, right? That's around 70, 71. Bring back the text, bring back the logo them. Add another composite layer right over the top. But before we do that, what I'm gonna do is for try and kind of spice up the text a little bit. I'm gonna add um, a grunge, um, like a texture to the top of that. So let's find a good um, texture fit over everything. Go change the blending mode to screen. If we bring back the opacity now to like 10 and then slowly increase it. Now so they kind of get the image like this aged type of look. We'll bring that over the text layer. We'll right click. We'll create a clipping mask. So now if you look on the text, it have like this you know, grayish white type of look. Cool. I'm gonna do as well as more get a grunge texture now. Um, something like this, like this stone looking type of thing. Don't make this bigger. Same exact thing, change this to screen for the blending mode. Create a clipping mask again. I'm gonna put this at 5%. And then increase that a little bit, and again, it's a very small change, but it definitely help. Um, and then lastly, let's find one more, one one with some scratches like this. But I'll kind of turn this side, we can want this affect the text a different way. I would create a clipping mask again. I would change this screen to, I mean, the blending mode to screen again. Um, let's put this underneath all of the other one. Them. If we turn it off, you can see here the other scratch them. So I'm gonna do is we'll take Control T and we'll flip this horizontal. And we'll stretch this out a little bit. Now to the text, what I'm gonna do is um, if not already have a inner shadow. Do kind of make that a little bit more noticeable. So like that's too much, right? But you know, like thirty-one percent, something like that. Twenty-five. That's cool. Copy that. Paste that on the other two part or the other two words. And take our three of them. Control and T. Make them look a bit bigger. Um, T. Boom. Um, move them over a little bit. Get them off of the edge. We don't want them cut off in any way outside of the you know the stuff where we cut off upon the chick. Um, and while we talk about that, let's um, do that one more time. Because as you can see, we bring it back. So let's go control by one name. Got rid of him, take the brush and get rid of all of that. So there's nothing we'll cover over, over here. But we all know what I'd say. Me and him. Um, and then lastly, let me say, we go add the last um, like composite layer. 
So do control alt shift and E. Once you get that the layer there, we'll go filter. This time we'll go adjust five. And now, as you can see, what this do it make like it make the stuff work really kind of stand out noticeably. You know what I mean? So if we go through a couple of them presets, uh, you know what I mean? Like if we you can see this one, I kind of add a, a like a little bit of a darker tone to everything. It even add a little bit of a shadow upon the parental advisory thing. That completely darken up everything, that brighten up and, you know, this kind of make everything pop, like all that highlight them pop. And it darken it up a little bit the same way. I mean, so there's a couple of ways you can go about it. So one, you can let's just say okay to that. Cool. Take that, drop the opacity to like 25%. So it's noticeable, but no, drastically. Mute it, create another composite. Put this a composite underneath. And then go back to the same topaz filter. And this time we don't go. <laughs> nah, not nah, that. Nah. I thought we go for like a cartoonish type of thing, but that's not what we go for. We go HDR. We go dynamic pop. Like I can see it just make everything, but as you can see, it oversaturates certain shit. So. I'm going to go crazy with it. We'll just press OK. And we'll drop this opacity at 40%. Then over the top of everything, we'll add the adjustment layer. We'll go levels. So let's play around with the levels and see. up at the top we'll get rid of the drop shadow off of all of them eh? and what do I do filter actually We'll add a color balance, not a color balance, but um, vibrance. Make sure you say it only affect the text layer. So if we mute layer for layer and go back to it real quick, start off with the blank background, of course. We have the chick, the tongue to the side, the yellow layer over the top of that. We have the vignette around the corner, the particles. Then we add the models, create a composite for kind of enhance the highlights. Add the water splash, create another composite 
if you kind of tone it up, add the text, add the logo them, and then create composites for bring out the rest of the highlights and all of that shit. Then we duplicate the text, saturate it, we kind of get them for pop like a bit more. And then finally we add the levels for add a little bit of um, more tone, dark it up a little, little bit. Not even really that noticeable, but definitely noticeable. Um, let me go, um, what are the mean? Slap it up, let's just cut this. We're in a project files, save this. All right. Then let's save the um, JPEG. Then we can look on it outside of Photoshop. When you see it outside of Photoshop, it will definitely have a lot more definition to it. So let's go take a look. Slap it tappy. Project files. As you can see, a lot more definition to it and all of that type of shit. You know what I mean? So thank you all for watching. Yeah, man, thank you for watching. You understand? It's your boy, SB is the track star. Peace.